here we go. Welcome. Uh, thanks for participating in the, the master class on the five-day content challenge. Um, what we did uh, this past Monday was we started with getting to know your avatar, your one person, um, tapping into your ideal customer, your recipient. And um, that was a lot of fun. I think there was some, you know, names given and, and names bandied about talking about, um, you know, sal Sally Sample and understanding who your ideal client is. Remembering that Elizabeth Gilbert wrote Eat, Pray, Love, and she made me feel when I was reading it, and you might have read it as well, or, you know, there's other books I'm sure that you've read where you feel like she's only talking to you, where you have that, um, you know, rapport with her and her words just kind of jump off the page. She knows you, she gets you, and you have that connection with her. Now, obviously, she doesn't know you, um, but she has been able to make that connection through her words because she can relate to you. And and that's what's fun about working with our avatars is getting to really know their background. Their, um, we're not focusing on the demographic, but we're focusing on one person in the demographic. So we know, you know, what kind of food do they like? What kind of ice cream do they like? What kind of um, you know, rides do they like at the amusement park? Have they been to college? Do they live at home? How old are they? Um, you know, what do they consume content? What are their biggest fears? What keeps them up at night? Um, all of those things are, are super important. And um, as we know, Elizabeth Gilbert sold millions and millions of copies of her book and probably made a lot of people feel special the way that I did. Um, and that's the magic of getting to know your ideal audience, just knowing that one person, that one customer. Um, so that's the vital component that's essential to you know, turning your free content into profitable customers is being able to flip your communication. And what I mean by that is it's not about you. And, you know, no offense, you know, it's not about me either. Don't be offended. It's all about them. It's all about the customer. Sample Sally. It's all about what is keeping her up at night. What is her struggle? And um, making sure that you uh, write everything in that style, um, understanding that she is going to be um, the person that you're talking to. Um, that you really have a clear understanding. You're not trying. If you have a book to sell, you're not hawking your book in a blog post or in a in a um, you know a, in an article or a press release. If your book is about how, if, say, you're a personal organizer and you have one chapter in your book that how, talks about how to unclutter your kitchen, and mm -hmm. then you write your blog post or your press release saying, you know, here are seven ways to unclutter your kitchen. Tip number one put your mail away every day, you know, sort through the mail and the papers. Tip number two, clear off some of the, you know, the, the tchotchkes and the, the little crystal pieces and the, the flower pots and all that. Uh, tip number three, um, you know, put your keys away in, in a different spot. Don't leave them on the counter. So you're sharing value. And then at the end of the blog or the press release, you clip your communication and you're mentioning your book and you're adding a link, but it's not the focus of the whole blog post or the press release. The focus is your avatar, your ideal person. You're helping her to unclutter her kitchen. So here's another example from day one of how to, um, you know, just kind of set up your avatar and, and focus on some of the mindset, the needs, what's their background, what's their pain, what are their goals, what do they want to achieve, and how can you uh, play a role in that. And then day two, we talked about, um, you know, unleashing your expertise. You met my golden retriever named Wally and um, talked about how when he's, on the leash, you know, we're walking around the neighborhood, um, he's kind of cooped up and not really in his own, um, you know, naturally he's not in his own environment um, being on a leash because his dogs weren't created to, to be on leashes. Um, that's our thing, not theirs. And so when we take him to the dog park, Wally just goes crazy happy and runs around and bolts with, you know, Gracie, and Bruce and all the other dogs and just, you know, has a ball. And I just am overwhelmed with the en incredible energy and everything and watching him makes me tired. Um, but it's important about unleashing your expertise and what's your role with your recipient. You have the expertise. You're unleashing your gifts and your talents and your um, skills that you have and that you've nourished and worked on to enrich all these years. And you're paying attention to your twists, turns, and trends in your industry and in your niche. You're really, as I always say, you're, you know, you're paying attention. You're on the ball. Um, and that's what's, um, I think, really important. You, you worked on day two about, you know, focusing in on um, identifying influencers and, and people and authors and speakers and trade publications, blogs, all the website conferences. Hopefully, you, you know, also took my advice and bookmarked them because there's, you can really collect quite a few. Um, and then you, you're able to pay attention 
you pay attention to your ideal audience. And that's really what um, exposing your expertise is all about, is that your audience feels special. They know that you're paying attention, that you get them. Then on day three, we talked about making an impact and the results that your expertise and your role plays with your recipient. So on day three, we talked about, you know, using highlighters and really writing down an outline, kind of like, you know, going back to eighth grade, um, you know, in social studies where you were uh, compiling, okay, what's the most important subject, you know, what's the most important topic, and then the subtopics, breaking it down um, so that it's more organized and, and easy. And that's really, you know, what you see here, what you can download is your, you know, your editorial calendar, um, making, you know, places and charts and columns, you know, some people are more visual than others. Um, you might use Trello. That's something uh, a free tool that you might uh, want to use to, you know, compile some graphics and some images and just some ideas and thoughts. Um, some people like those Excel spreadsheets. To me, they're just a little bit too cumbersome with, you know, a lot of words and fields and charts and everything. So, um, you know, I go for a combination of things, uh, like maybe the the piece on the left, which is the social media management schedule. Um, but there's a whole lot of different opportunities, you know, templates online that you can just look at and, and browse and, and download for free. So um, organizing your thoughts and your priorities, saying, okay, what are the topics that I like to write about? Um, what are the topics that I'm really knowledgeable and uh, familiar with and comfortable with? There might be some topics that you're going to stumble on in the, um, you know, in the programs, on the blogs, on the blogs, the websites um, that are, you're not all that comfortable with or that you really don't take to heart and really enjoy. So put those on the side um, that you might want to use at a later date. Um, but go for the ones that you really like and enjoy and, and that you can, um, you know, get involved with because that's going to bring not only your avatar the results and, and get them, you know, paying attention, but it's going to be easier for you and bring you the satisfaction that you're looking for, I think, in, in your business. I know it's worked for me. Then in um, day four, we talked about creating content that gets attention and that sweet spot. And that's really what I'm leading up to here is having that sweet spot with, um, you know, here we are with the Simpsons. I never thought a company could be my soulmate. That's what we're going for. It's like you have that connection, that emotional tie where it's just, wow, um, you're both like kind of, in, you know, hit your stride there. Um, it's the, you're, you're the president of their fan club and they're the president of your fan club. Uh, so that's what we covered, you know, through the first few days. We talked about, you know, being able to walk away with at least 10 or 15 story ideas. Hopefully you guys um, were able to put that list together, that outline, and then be able to fill in the chart, uh, the editorial calendar, um, because you can really quickly and consistently create content without spending a dime, not even, you know, a single dollar on advertising. We're not talking about um, ads or anything, but we're talking about uh, free publicity. What happens with, um, with free press, what I'm talking about um, in create, you know, content and everything is that you're not paying to take out an ad. You're not calling the sales department. Um, you have something that's so newsworthy, that's so relevant to a reporter's audience or, or a demographic that they are willing to give you what I call free publicity. And it's looked at, it's a different perception in the public's eye because when you see an ad, anybody reading the paper or seeing, you know, television can say, oh, there's a commercial. They, they paid, they had a budget, they pulled out their checkbook, they paid to get on TV or into the newspaper. Um, so you're not viewed as the same level when you have a, an article that a reporter thought was so important and so relevant that they gave it what we call third-party validation or third-party endorsement, meaning that they thought your story was so credible that they got to, you know, they ran it for free. That's what we're looking for. Um, and that boosts your credibility in the public's eye and the public's perception to a whole new level. It brings uh, instant credibility and authority and it doesn't cost anything. So what happens now? You're um, thinking about, okay, what can I do with everything that you have? You know, you've got the tools from the, the five-day content challenge. And people tell me all the time, in fact, one of my first PR clients told me 17 years ago, we're the best kept secret. And I cringed. I was like, well, no, I, you know, I think I started to twitch actually. <laughs> it, was, it was really bad. I said, you know, you're in business. You don't want to be a secret. It's time to let the cat out of the bag. And we can quickly and consistently create content without spending money if we have our news antenna up, if we're paying attention. And we can create the life that we want with free publicity. 
with being easily able to, uh, you know, create these um, news posts and these videos and all these topics and ideas that are relevant to our avatar, where they are the president of your fan club, where they are going to refer you, where they're going to share your posts and your videos and comment on your blogs, all of that, because they really love and enjoy the content and find it valuable and compelling, and they're willing to go to bat for you. Um, you don't have to take out an ad. You have somebody who has you know, another 500 or 5,000 followers sharing your information, and all you did was post it once, and it went you know, into a whole different community and a whole different network. So what we talk about is that you have the freedom to create your ideal day and your ideal life. Uh, you know, I saw this shirt in the mall, and I, I loved it. I had to buy it right away. It says, actually, I can. And actually, you know, women entrepreneurs and everybody in business, we can do this. It's you deciding, you know, how do you want to create your ideal life? What does your ideal day look like? You know, is it relaxing, sitting out, you know, outside on the deck at night, you know, kind of thinking about the day and being grateful for everything that you have, being grateful for the people that share your content, being grateful for the reporters that are willing to answer your calls and listen to you. I mean, what does that feel like? Um, you know, being able to have the freedom so that you can share time with your family and friends and um, do the things that you love to do. Actually, yeah, I can. And you can too. That's the best part of it. What does it look like? That life, that ideal style, you know, that ideal day, um, what does that magic look like? It comes from creating content, as goofy as that sounds. Um, and this is ironic that, you know, I'm planning this, you know, webinar, this masterclass. And if you look at this piece on the left, this was August 11th. This was just a couple of days ago. I usually don't do PR anymore, um, but I, I came up, you know, a, a woman approached me and, and said, I've got this interesting um, salon in Austin. And they, what they do is they create 3D printed molds through a company in Italy. It's fascinating. And um, they send it out. It's people who are dealing with hair loss, or some of them from chemo and, and drugs and health reasons, others just hereditary genes, stress, um, you know, uh, air quality, things like that, all different kinds of situations. But especially, you know, this, they pictured a guy in here, but um, they ran in the Austin Statesman three days ago, a picture with a whole article about 3D printing and hair mold prosthetics that this woman is doing. She's only one of two in Texas. So she gets all this free press with links to her website and everything. It's a huge article. Well, if you look at the next part, and she writes in here, first of all, so blessed to announce the first article in the Austin Statesman. The next piece was a reporter from KVU from a local TV station saw that article that I placed for her that I pitched a reporter and called her and said, we want to send a crew over on Friday to take a look because this is a great visual story. And so the second piece is, do you know what Shannon Mole Studio and Spa has going on these days? Tune into KVU Tech on Tuesday morning segment for the midday news. This is what we're talking about. So PR has a cascading effect. It, it, it's when... People are curious, and you don't have to spend any money. What's, what I always love is Diane Sawyer's um, mantra is that she, I heard her in an interview say, you know, I wake up curious. And that's what I've learned as being a news reporter and a news director for 10 years in New Jersey and New York, is that we have to be curious. We have to pay attention to what's going on around us. You know, and so are you paying attention as closely as you can or should be to the twists, trends, and turns in your business? Are you paying close attention to your avatar? Are you paying close attention to the right reporters who can cover your story and get you free press? Um, that's what this is all about, is the ability to say, um, I'm paying attention and I can even newsjack stories. And we talked about that last night in uh, our Facebook Live session, was the ability to ride the coattails of somebody else's news. And we talked about the eclipse coming up. And so August 21st is, you know, people are saying Krispy Kreme came up with a great marketing idea. Um, they, they're going to be using just uh, making all brown chocolate covered donuts to symbolize the uh, darkness of the eclipse and then all glazed donuts special just for that day for the light of the eclipse. Um, if you remember back a few years ago with the Super Bowl when the uh, power went out, I think it was in New Orleans. And what happened? One of the smartest marketing moves ever. Oreo came up with, uh, let's dip our cookies in the milk while we're waiting for the power to go on. And they allowed 
a person in their marketing department to run with this. They saw an opportunity and said, this is it. We're jumping on it. She didn't have to go through hoops and run through, you know, 10 circles and say, well, the committee will meet tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. And as entrepreneurs, we can do that. We can say, hey, this is a great story. This is what's going on right now. I'm paying attention to the news. I'm curious. My antenna's up. Let's jump with, you know, on this and do it. And we have an opportunity to get free press. Oreos, Krispy Kreme, it's, you know, everybody's doing it. So the ability that you can, uh, you know, the willingness on your part to say, how can I use the content to get it working for you? To get all of this press, like I've done on the left, you know, what I did is put together a marketing piece and had um, just a collage of pieces. I said, you know, nobody's going to read these articles, except, you know, my mom and dad, they were kind of impressed. But, you know, I just put together a collage and showed it to my uh, clients and my prospects and said, you know, these are some of the things I do. And this is some of the things that I would recommend that you do. So when we work together, I'm going to get you all this publicity. Sure enough, you know, we did clip sheets, as we call them, just scanned in like a collage and people were really impressed, nice glossy paper. And then, you know, one of my clients, an eye doctor in New Jersey, got him on TV and he actually went a step further as you can too and use those screenshots and said as seen on TV and that is instant credibility instant credibility so lots of ideas here for you to get your content you know maximizing all these uh, ways to get whether it's print radio or TV news or you know even online of course um, and this is again what Dr. Sharfman did in New Jersey the eye doctor and if you look on the right side of the screen he put all of this on his website so now we take it one step further, um, you know, as seen on the web, watch the video interview. He's talking about um, macular degeneration. He's talking about, you know, one, one interview is talking about Halloween tips, how to keep kids safe uh, so they don't get poked in the eye with their, you know, swords and wands and all that and how to do eye makeup um, and make sure their mask isn't covering their eyes when they're trick or treating at night. All of these things that we were able to tie him in and to create news that was important and compelling and relevant to his audience. So. We look at the calendar when we want to create some of this news and we say, well, um, you can imagine your life being like this. If I had a calendar that was filled up with all of these opportunities, Halloween and, uh, you know, diabetic eye month and all of these things where you can say, I'm getting publicity. Uh, some of it is going to be on the fly because, as I mentioned, there's news jacking, there's live news events. It's very fluid. But what would your life be like if you felt totally confident sharing your expertise with people who can buy from you, and then you become a media darling with all these reporters and the bloggers and the online influencers who easily respond, you know, they're, they're quick to, they actually respond to your emails and they answer your phone calls and texts. They're news decision makers who cover your stories and pitches, and the reason is they trust you. They know that you're pitching good stories. You're not sending a press release about your darn book but you're sending them a press release about the seven ways to unclutter your kitchen, which helps their demographic. You're spoon feeding them story ideas and information that they can basically run with that doesn't need much work or editing. And so you become one of their favorite trusted resources, a credible trusted authority in your field. Sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> I, that, that's what I built my six figure business on and, and that's what you can do too. Um, the bottom line here is that you create a buzz about your business share your expertise, help people live happier, more fulfilling lives, and you can have a happier, more fulfilling life and make money doing it. That's the fun part. You do what you love. You share information about things that you're already doing and you know about. There's really no learning curve if you think about it. Um, and you're just helping people to be more successful, to ease their pain. They have the pain and you have the magic pill, the solution to help them make their life easier. So here's the, the deal. You already know that if you can pay attention, you know, we're not selling anything, we're, we're um, sharing answers and solutions. But, you know, many people here in um, create, you know, the, the, in the create the, the five day content challenge, rather, you know, you have, you know, completed the, the assignments, you learned a bunch. Some of you are here, you've got, you know, the avatar, you did the work for the five day challenge, you, you bookmarked, and, um, you know, you're good to go. And others, though, want a step-by-step -step plan. And, and that's what the solution is all about, is that you're able to, uh, you know, I pulled it all together for you, basically. It's, it's an online course. It's called Create Remarkable PR Now. And I hold your hand. We walk through the program together. And what I'd like to do is show you how to, um, you know, what the website looks like. It's basically a blueprint. 
to a newfound confidence so that you can promote and increase your business, you know, get more visibility, credibility, make more money. There's no confusion or shenanigans. It's all right through um, your, let's see, you know, through walking through hand, you know, hand by hand, step by step. So I'm going to try to pull up the website here. I don't know if I can do that. Um, I wanted to give you kind of an inside peek. Um, there are nine modules, so let's, let's take a look at that. Um, and it's, it's all spelled out. This is what you get when you online access right away. It, it's downloadable. It's um, work at your own pace. First top button, you get your organizer, your planner, your handout. So it's all organized and neat, you know, tied up in a nice bow for you. There's bonuses galore. There's three bonuses. There's PDFs that you download. Um, in module one, it's all about self-confidence and how to develop that self-confidence in yourself and your content so that you are comfortable not only pitching your story, but you know, reaching out to your avatar, asking them, you know, hey, you know, engaging with them, asking what they need, how you can help them. Um, it's about attitude adjustment 101. We listen, you know, especially I think women entrepreneurs, we listen to that noisy soundtrack in our heads um, that's playing, un, you know, unrelentless. It's it just, it's just unforgiving. Um, you're not good enough. You don't know this enough. You're, you know, you're not an authority in your field. You're, you know, you have other things to do. You're busy. I can't do this. It's too hard. I'm not a writer. But you can create all of this without writing. You can create videos. You can transcribe, um, you know, record things and transcribe it and give it to a virtual assistant. You have all of these things that you can do um, to make your life easier. So we need to get rid of that soundtrack in our heads and change our attitude, you know, be surrounded by positive, um, encouraging thoughts instead of things that are holding us back. So we start with Attitude Adjustment 101. We go into the... Um, the remarkable bonus of, you know, Pitchapalooza, how to connect with reporters for big time interviews to, you know, help small group coaching too. I'll walk you through all of that. Um, there's bonuses. Like I say, there's a non-tech resource guide for non-writers, top 20 recommended tools to keep everything moving smarter, faster. It's not confusing. It's just easy breezy. There's PDFs or surprise videos. Um, there's also a, the bonus number two, which I, I think you're going to love this. This is a cheat sheet with 75 blog and content ideas. These are topics that you can um, use for any niche. It doesn't matter what your specialty is. And then there's also another bonus template of where I share with you talking points of how you can pitch news reporters, how you can connect with online influencers and LinkedIn folks. Um, everything that you can basically use for that I've done that you can uh, you know take as well and just use it as your own. Um, there's a case study because as I said, I started you know earning six figures from doing this, and you can too. One of my uh, clients, Ardith Rademacher, says that uh, she earned more than 130% annually, more revenue every year for three years because I taught her the self-confidence that she needed to develop her online presence. You know, that the program that I work with, that I teach here, that you have access to now, um, she never heard of before. She was afraid of video. She didn't know how to do content newsletters. All of a sudden, she says she's sharing her story through PR, and it's all become very doable. She always describes this as, the 30,000 foot view and I bring it down to the, you know, 10,000 foot and then down to the granular of how can I do seven ways to unclutter my kitchen. It's all about content publicity and being willing to develop that content with a strong voice. She said, I don't run from the scary stuff anymore. And I think that that's the opportunity that I'm offering you guys today. So we have all these modules of how to overcome writer's block, how to maximize free press, how to connect with reporters, how to write pitches, how you can apply this proven system for your own business, increase your visibility. You can do it slowly, you know, try doing it on your own, um, or you can do it quickly. Use this step-by-step -step proven plan. This is the thing that I've got, remarkable PR now, and it's, it's the proven system. It's guaranteed. It's step-by-step. -step. It's full 100% 10-day money-back guarantee. Um, there's a payment plan, two payments. It's under $250 each, a total of $497 for all of this, the bonuses, the nine modules, the uh, online coaching with me, step-by-step, -step, uh, the guarantee, all the surprises and the goodies, learning how to connect with reporters. But remember, I'm looking for action takers. It's not for everybody because women in business who want to create content you want to build visibility so that you can self-promote, charge more money, attract new business as you've seen, so that you have the freedom for family time, so that you can create your ideal day, your ideal life. You can earn the six figures too, but you have to decide to do it now.
The action is all about taking action, enrolling in the class. It's on the website right now at getinfrontcommunications.com. Go onto the course tab. It's a limited offer just for the people that are brave enough, the women entrepreneurs like yourself, who wanted to go into the five-day content challenge and be able to um, you know, learn about how to create content, to be surrounded by a, a wonderful community of energized, happening women entrepreneurs, people like yourself who want to create content and grow their business, and most important, so that you can have the freedom to live your life, live your passion, and share it with others. That's what I'm encouraging you to do. Um, let's take some questions. If you have any questions, um, feel free to, to jump in here, and um, let's see what's going on out there. Wait, Daniel, are you going to be able to, uh, to kind of head over to, to see what this all looks like? I'm not getting any uh, audio there. I don't know if you're online still or... Oh, can you hear me, Susan? This I can hear you. Yes. Hi, Jeanette. Hi. Can I throw out a question? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. I, took, I think everyone's on mute. They may have unmuted. Um, oh, okay. That, that's a good point. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so I know so many times you end up talking to the screen. and um, So I, I wanted to ask you... Uh, kind of know the answer to this, but these modules, how much time do you figure they take? Like what's the investment as far as time? I guess it depends on how much you want to put into it. But. Yeah, it, it does. Um, what The way that it works is that you, you work at your own pace. Everything that you get is you access it right away. You get your uh, email, you get your, you know, the, the access, the, the pin and the password and all that, and you can get it right away. You download everything. So it's really work at your own pace. The modules are, um, first of all, there's everyone has an action plan. So at the end of each module, you're going to apply what you've been doing, kind of similar to this, but what I use in this one is uh, start, stop, continue. And so it's, you know, um, it's really your action plan for that exact module. So I think the longest module is about 25 minutes. Okay. So they're easy. I know everybody's strapped for time. Everybody's busy. It's got the handout. It just guides mm -hmm. you through step by step. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Any other questions or um, things we want to bring up here? I think I can bring up actually the um, bring up the. Uh, whoop, I'm getting a lot of pre oh, <laughs> I'm getting a lot of goofy things here. Um, let's bring up the uh, what the what the course actually looks like. Um, this is what the website is when you go to enroll, and this is the. Uh, hey Susan. What the course looks like. Susan, we um, still we still see your PowerPoint. Okay. Um, can you, can you, uh, I don't know about that then. All right, let's, let's stick with the PowerPoint. Um, we'll, we'll go to the uh, slide with the modules then at least just to, how's that? Yeah, we can see that. <laughs> that all right? Okay. So, um, you know, as I said, module one is about, um, you know, attitude adjustment 101 and getting that self-confidence. Uh, two is all about, um, you know, building, you know, connecting with reporters and influencers who can help you. And then uh, into three, we talk about how to get shares and attention. Um, as you can see in module four, it's about writing styles and how to, um, you know, open your post, close your post, how to not write a single word um, and have other people, you know, have plenty of content without you having to, to do that. I know there's a lot of concern about, <laughs> I'm a non-writer, I've am not. Yeah, I've been writing news for 25 years like you have. Um, not to worry, there is plenty of options. So that's all covered there. Module five is all about um, overcoming writer's block. And that ties back to what I mentioned earlier about Diane Sawyer and, um, you know, wake up curious. That's one of the things that um, I learned in news early on. Well, in fact, my first day as a street reporter in radio in 1984, 1985 was, um, you know, my grumpy news directors, you know, barked at me and said, you know, I have my tape recorder, my notebook, don't come back without a story. And that's every day of, you know, I might go out and there might be five stories, which is great, or there might be no stories and I still, you know, don't come back without a story. And, and I know that Diane Sawyer and that Peter Jennings and everybody, you know, in between somebody from the local TV station in your community, the newspaper, whoever, they all have the same order, the same marching orders. Don't come back without a story. And so that taught me early on to really pay attention and to listen in a whole different way. And that's what I'm sharing in this module is how to wake up curious, how to get these stories because they're right under your nose if you're paying attention, just like the marketing person with the Oreos when the Super Bowl lights went out. 
Um, module six, we talk about the elements of a successful PR pitch. Um, we're talking module seven about maximizing free press, like you saw Dr. Sharfman did on the website. Um, in module eight, it's all about building a community. You know, what if nobody comments on my blog? Oh no, um, that's okay. And in fact, I would. Uh, there's a good recommendation for a, a fabulous blog post, um, a, a video, a two-minute video from Seth Godin that I highly recommend. And then in Module 9, it's all about managing your editorial calendar, and you will walk away with um, a complete roadmap of how to get free press. Um, totally explained, totally you know, out there, understandable, easy for social media and traditional media. So that's what the program looks like. Again, with all the bonuses, the PDFs, the downloads, the video coaching, all of that. I'm here for you guys. Just want to make sure that it's um, not overwhelming. Let's take the stress out of it. Let's make this fun so that you can get to the next point and the next step in your business in your life. Any other questions, Stephanie or, or Wendy, Danielle, do you have any, anything on your mind here? Or Jeanette? No. Welcome to ask another one. <laughs> well... I'm the talker, but I have to say, Susan, that I've really enjoyed this. And um, you just mentioned Seth Godin, and I know you follow uh, David Seitman Garland. And um, so to me, that tells me that you're really up on um, how to do all of this, and uh, you're really informed, and I appreciate that. I appreciate all the information that you've, that you've been sharing with us for sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad to, to be here, glad to be of service. And, and I think that's what really all of us are. You know, we're, how can we serve people and how can we help people to be successful? And, you know, that's what I want to do. I, I know all this, but it's no point in kind of keeping it to myself. So <laughs> happy to share with you guys. Hey, Susan, I did have a question in, in today's assignment for day five. You made mm -hmm. a comment that was very intriguing to me about um, – Maybe listening or, or noticing what's around you that's a story and and I would just like to have an example You know, what what does that mean? And I know you mentioned, you know stuff in your daily life, but you're right You are thinking of other stuff. And so how, how do you tap into that? Insight Yeah, I think it's being able to you know when you go to the dry cleaner or you go to the mechanic or you go to your kids soccer game Or you're even you know driving in the car and you know you, you hear something or see something um, That you're able to connect the dots back to your business and that's what we talk about in the program is saying, you know, all right, well, I just had this conversation with my dry cleaner. How can I, you know, how does that bring me to a blog post? I don't get it. And that's what we talk about in these modules. And that's what where all, most of my content comes from. And that's how I wrote, you know, two books was being able to say, I have all this content. What am I going to do with it? Well, I can repurpose it and reformat it, you know, because I, what I did was I said, this is like I compiled it into three different sections in one book and then also at the other book. And people would say to me, how did you have time to write? You know, you wrote a book, you wrote two books. And I said, actually, you know, it was all there. You know, it was all under my nose and all kind of, you know, in my archives and all. So I picked out the ones that were most relevant, that were most important, that were evergreen, that weren't dated and said, you know, let's pay attention to this. And the way I came up with all that content to circle back to your question was, I paid attention. Um, and one of the examples is about what's the name of my company. Um, it's called Get In Front Communications. And, you know, there's a story that I tell, a signature story when I, when I speak about my son Danny and my husband Andrew and how they talk about how to get in front in hockey. They play ice hockey. And, um, you know, what that means. Yay, Jeanette. And <laughs> what does that mean to get in front of your business? You know, because my husband told, I'll, I'll spare the details of the story. I, that's in, in the program. But, you know, my husband said to Danny when he was about seven years old, this is little, little boy, you know, with these, you know, trying to stumble his way around the ice and all. And he said, you know, uh, you need to get in front, get in front of the net, get in front of the puck, get in front of the other players. You need to get in front. And, you know, I, I kind of watched Danny and was fly on the wall in the conversation. And, um, you know, Danny was just kind of sitting there, his eyes glazed over, wasn't really registering. And then he says, okay, dad. And then he says, but why? And then Andrew says to him, because that's where all the action is. Mm -hmm. Nothing exciting happens to the guys who hang out in the back. Get in front of the net, get in front of the puck, get in front of the other players. Get in front and make something happen. And since that conversation at that kitchen table that day, that, that kid, his game totally changed. He, he took it to heart. And, you know, here's a seven-year-old who changed his communication, his attitude, his results, and he became excellent. 
and all because he decided to get in front. And when I speak, I, I ask people, you know, are you ready to get in front? You know, are you, are you, you going to get in front and make something happen? Because if you don't, you're going to be that cat in the bag as the best kept secret and your competition is going to be out there getting in front and you're going to sit there saying, how come she gets to go on vacation? How come they have a new boat? How come their kids go to camp? You know, how come, you know, I'm driving around in this broken down car. That's what it's all about is you deciding to pay attention and make, you know, the stories connect back to people in your business. So I wrote a blog post. What does it mean to get in front? It means get out from your computer and don't hide behind your keyboard. Go out and network. It means take classes like this, go online and learn something new. What does it mean to get in front? You know, seven ways to get in front. Take a course at your local school. Learn new technology. Uh, go to a, a conference or an event and donate a book or something or a gift certificate for your business or something so they'll announce your name in front of a room of 200 people and they'll call you up. Free press. You know, add, add links to your signature line. All of these tricks are in this program, but all the tricks are under your nose and right there if you pay attention. I heard that story about, you know, get in front. I don't play hockey. You know, they were, were just starting. I didn't know what that was all about, but I know what it means to get in front to make something happen. you got to hustle. And you know that too because you're in business. I, I know that you're smart and energetic and you're, you're making it happen. You, you're doing the hustle. Um, but tie in all the stories that are around you, the conversations that most people ignore, and see if it can connect back to your business. That's the, that's the answer. A long answer to a short question. <laughs> Thank you. That, that's very helpful. That, that, you know, it gives a different perspective. Uh, hey, this is Colette. So I wanted to, I don't have a question, but I wanted to share with the group that I am currently in this online course and not too far along. So I'm super excited about what's still ahead of me. But what I have done so far, uh, modules one, two, and I'm in three now. Um, so specifically, there's a piece where um, doing the research on the journalists and reporters that cover my topic and serve my clients. And um, I have to say, it never occurred to me to go and look at um, what they've written, um, who they've featured in their articles, other experts like myself. Um, and I've just really learned about what other people, my quote unquote competitors are doing. Um, and interestingly, I'm like, well, I, I actually, that's not what I do. So we have the same title, but I do something very differently, which the light bulb went off because one of the things that Susan has said repeatedly is you can reach out to, you know, reporters with a story and maybe they've covered the topic uh, before, but, you know, saying something to the effect of, of here's how I'm different or here's how, uh, here's a new take on this topic. And so that for me was really useful and um, gave me just a whole, whole bunch of ideas. And now, you know, following these reporters and journalists um, on social media and being able to interact with them um, is I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about building those relationships and, uh, and, you know, becoming one of their sources that they go to, um, again, who has a different perspective on this thing called intimacy and confidence and uh, really extraordinary, satisfying relationships. Because the stuff that I see out there is pretty cookie cutter and pretty repetitive. And I think that my approach is different. So this course, um, uh, the PR course has been, like I said, I'm just starting it, but it's already been a game changer for, for me and how I see um, what I do and how I talk about it or how I will be talking about it, presenting it to, you know, to, to media. Thank you very much, Colin. I, I appreciate that. And I'm glad you've, you know, you're already plowing through module three and really mm -hmm. putting all the activities to, you know, to, to work and, and making it work for your business. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Any other questions? I know we uh, we talked about uh, last night in the in the um, in the Facebook Live about you know engaging and um, being able to you know connect emotionally with with people and that's what this you know is all about not only the content challenge but being able to connect with your avatar and um, the human factor putting a face on the story that's also in the you know in in this in these modules. Um, Anybody else have a, a question or if not, we can just wrap things up, but i uh, really glad that you're here. I know folks are going to be listening in on uh, the recorded version too, because there's a lot of um, folks that are just, you know, different time zones and all. 
Um, this special offer, though, is only for the content challenge folks, um, and it's only good until Friday, one week from today. So we're looking for decision makers, action takers, people who hustle, who want to learn, just like you guys, you know, who want to uh, create this content, build your visibility, build your credibility, and, you know, so that you can create a six-figure income, so that you can create the, uh, the, the content pieces and the collages and all the, the TV interviews and the online prestige and all that, so that you can have the ideal life of sitting out on the balcony saying, hey, life's pretty good. Life is all right. So um, I have the freedom for you. Um, the question is, do you want to take it? So thanks for watching. Thanks for taking part, asking questions and all, and um, enjoy the weekend. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you, Susan.